usually like to pay for the person behind me. Today is um, National Day of Remembrance for homicide victims and my husband was brutally killed. So um, I just wanted to give some love today. So today in these internet streets, we have a woman right now who is being accused of using her husband's death in order to promote a book. Now, where have we heard this story before? We had a situation not too long ago where a woman actually killed her husband and then wrote a book about it and lied to her kids about how their daddy died, which is honestly sad. So I don't know whether to be sad, disappointed, or what about this story, but what I can tell you guys is what you see on the surface is not necessarily the entire story. And I hope that, you know, if anybody that you lost, and I, I feel like there is somebody, and she's watching you. She's watching you all the time and she loves you. So um, this is for the people behind me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I actually record these things. Can, can you say hi to people? <laughs> this is Trinity. <laughs> we need more kindness. As I'm sure you guys know, in these internet streets, what you see at first is never, never the case. All right, so never take these videos at face value. What we are watching right now is a woman who was never married to the man she claims is her husband. But she does admit this. Let's roll that. Husband, wife, partner, spouse. These are not just legal titles with paperwork. It's so much more. When souls, usually two, love each other so much that before the government gets involved, their union is already signed. All right, so I have seen and heard of people who have taken an approach where they do not want to get the government involved in their marriage, so they decide not to go through that traditional form of getting married. All right, that's cool, that's fine. But as we continue to dive deep in this story, it's only going to get weirder from here. Rob and I said our vows creatively to one another. No paperwork. He was killed before we could do that. Our families and friends look forward to celebrating our union like we should have the month he was killed if I should choose. Rob is my partner and husband in all the ways that the spirit of marriage was sanctified and created for. And I, more than fiance, his wife. And so now thinking about that first video, it seems even more cringe to me. You were never married. That was never your husband. Maybe he asked you to marry him or so you claim. I don't even know if I can believe that one right now, but it seems that she wants to brand herself as somebody who has been through something and can now teach and show and help other people who are grieving go through similar issues or similar trauma. I'm gonna create a poem right now. This is for you. This is such a beautiful ask. This poem is for you. This poem is for you. And so that's basically how her content goes. She takes comments out of the comment section and then she creates these poems about those. And a lot of the times she'll insert something about how she has been going through this past trauma as well. And in my opinion, it seems as if she's using this situation with her husband in order to maybe justify and prove that she's some type of expert in grief after a lot of self-reflection and consideration i am really scared <laughs> about my decision but i wanted to share with you guys and get your feedback i am going to self-publish all right so that's enough of that video she goes on to say how she will be narrating the book and all of that stuff she's going to self-publish whatever Anyways, people are asking about the husband. How can we find out more information about the husband? And this was her response. So instead of making you go and buy a book, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened from what I found on Google. So it says this, how did Robert Brewer die? According to Tampa Bay Times, Brewer was repeatedly stabbed, doused with gas, and set a fire during a drug party in Brandon, Texas. A group of men who killed him was led by Casey Ackerman, I think that's how you say that. He met the group at a local mall and went to their apartment for marijuana and Xanax. During the party, Casey was under the impression that Rob was flirting with his then girlfriend. He responded by attacking Brewer with the help of his friends, Randy Allen Morris and Brandon Terry. The group stabbed Robert multiple times. While he was still alive, they put him in a duffel bag in a dumpster. They then set the dumpster on fire. Brewer's body was discovered by the Brandon Fire Department. In order to double down and make sure this story is true, I went on the Tampa Bay Times and you can see it once again. 
five people were arrested in the gruesome 2010 murder of 26 year old Robert Brewer who was repeatedly stabbed and then set on fire in a Brandon trash bin. The first article that I read went on to mention that he was beloved by a lot of people and it was noted inside of the obituary website. I'm not going to show anything from that because I just feel like that's a little bit disrespectful. So I'm not gonna go that far, but what I will say is that there is no mention of her on the obituary if you want to find that just google it and find it for yourselves a lot of people did that and that has sparked a lot of debate and why a lot of people are feeling like she's just using this horrible situation right here which is honestly sad and my condolences go out to the family and i would love to hear from one of them because it seems like a lot of people love robert and a lot of people actually genuinely care for robert and so if it comes out that a family member speaks up about this and says something i would have to make a follow-up video but right now i haven't seen anything with a family member actually saying something about this but i can only imagine that we will see something at some point in time but maybe just maybe somebody will come out and say yes they were in love and yes they were going to get married i don't know but an article that she's going to point out seems to believe that she is an inspiration to a lot of people someone told me about this and um I am so honored, Elizabeth. This is so incredible. Such a, a beautiful, well-written piece. Oh, we're not gonna look at the murder. I don't wanna look at the murder details. That's just triggering. And with all the information that we know now, to me, honestly, the weirdest thing about this entire situation is the fact that I have yet to see a single photo of them together maybe she has those and just don't want to share them. maybe it's too traumatic for her and she don't want to expose those photos for the internet to see i don't know but i do think it's odd that we haven't seen a photo of you guys together yet we've seen her post pictures of him on her TikTok, but of them together even in the same building we haven't seen that yet so to me that's the oddest thing that i've come to like realize about this situation but this is an ongoing story that i assume will get more traction as the days go on because it did blow up in the last couple of days and so let me know what you guys think about this story do you believe her do you believe that she's an inspiration to others or do you believe that this situation looks very fishy it looks like she's milking the fact that she had somebody she knew she had a husband she had a fiance whatever you want to call it that died tragically and now she's trying to profit off it gain some clout from it get views from that and promote her book there's so many different dynamics in this situation that some people just don't know and so if you're in a don't know camp and you're waiting to see more information hit the surface let me know that as well all your thoughts and opinions are welcome down below in the comment section also don't forget to like comment and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video